Hello everyone, what is up? My name is Brennan. Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday tutorial. Today we're going to be making a shaking camera effect. We're going to be making the camera shake. This tutorial was requested by DK3J Swag, and he said, please make a, sh a s shake tutorial. I guess he, he, he would, obviously he meant just a shake tutorial. And I asked him what he meant, uh, like did he want an animation like a tutorial in Blender on how to make a camera shake and he said yes so that is what I'm going to be doing today so let's get it right into it okay so I have Blender open here I am actually in the animation default setup within Blender it has an automatic setup of everything um, one of the default setups that comes with Blender when you download it or install it so there's the 3d view full all of these different setups, but I chose animation specifically because it has certain windows open. Now you don't have to do that. You can stay in the default and you can just open up each individual, each individual window, but I'm just going to go to animation. Makes it much simpler. You can do the same thing. It's really simple. You just switch to that and it has all the things you need. Okay, so let's make the camera shake. So what I did was I just, added in a camera, I made it uh, face straight forward towards the cube in the 3D view. So what I can actually do here is just delete this and then add in the camera again. I'm going to go do it again so that you can see exactly what I did. I'm going to turn on screencast keys just in case. I'm going to go in top view. I'm going to press shift S to make the cursor to the center of this cube. I'm going to add in a camera. From the top view looking top down and I added in a camera it's looking down so I want it to look towards the cube so I'm going to go to press zero to go into the camera view and now I'm going to rotate the camera 90 degrees that was actually shift F which makes it rotate by wherever you move the mouse and you can drive like fly it around um, but I don't want to do that I want to rotate the camera on the x-axis so press R and X and then type in 90 on the keyboard and I rotated it 90 degrees in the X axis and of course you don't see anything because if you look up in this top right little thing, little screen up here, as you can see, the cube is still, the camera is still inside the cube. So let's move it outside of the cube. Let's press G and then Y. Let's drag it backwards. And you can use other viewports to help you if you need to, to see where you are moving your camera. And I just moved it backwards on the y-axis, so now I can tell I'm looking, whoops, I think I just deleted my camera, or I hit it. I made it hide. Okay, so now I'm going to drag it up on the Z, Z or Z-axis, and I'm going to rotate it, nine, uh, well, a few degrees down, about 10... 11 and then bring it up a little bit more and I'll leave it like that. So now what we are going to do first is set in a keyframe So you have to press I on the keyboard oh, It's not doing anything. Oh, okay. I still had it moving Let's go to the first frame first first of all and then let's press I on the keyboard and let's select rotation Now we want to rotate it on at least one axis you could do it on all three but I think, because that would mean it would be just shaking on all axes, axes or axes. Uh, I think it's axi, axes, not axes. Yeah, it wouldn't be that. But anyway, okay. Let's do this on the x axis. You have to open up the uh, options on this graph editor window, and you have to add a modifier. So let's add a noise modifier. It's an F-curve F curve modifier. Let's add the noise modifier. And there it is right there. And if you begin to play this, you should notice it's shaking a lot. Really shaking. Um, and you can usually also see, if you look at the rotation, you can usually see all of these waves, all of these uh, this animation going on here. And you can even edit it with this modifier. You can change the scaling in time. 
So this is scaling, so you could make it really, really far apart. So it's a lot slower. So this is the shaking in slow motion, basically. Then you can speed it up. And we want it to look like it's shaking, so let's make it a little bit faster. Let's make it something like one. We don't want to make it shake so dramatically. So let's change, let's add random, random seed. Let's also change the amplitude of the noise to something more reasonable, maybe, like that. It's a little bit better. And let's see what this is. This option is a time offset. offset. So you can change the time offset. So where it is, it basically, there we go. It's animating. You can even restrict the frame range. So where you want it to start and where you want it to end. So if you only wanted it to shake on a certain frame range, you could do that. So you can make it shake from, where is that? Should be from frame one. Frame that modifiers influence starts. Let's do. Yes, okay. So I just made it shake to start from frame five and then at frame 15, it stops shaking. As you can see, that's where it ends. So it's really cool because you can just add a, an effect, a shake effect really quickly. And it's really nice because then you can just go boom. You can make an explosion or something and the camera f uh, shakes. Just like in one of my animations I made, a uh, Minecraft animation actually in particular, where I made an explosion and I actually use this effect for that and it adds a nice little extra cool thing in there like that and that's really cool so thank you guys for requesting this tutorial um, I will see you guys next time thank you guys so much for watching my videos for subscribing if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I really appreciate it guys so thank you guys for subscribing watching everything I will see you guys next time